created the earth, supporting life on the planet, and now it's destroying them. Maybe it knows what it's doing. Maybe there is a, a greater wisdom to it than my limited wisdom, because mine is really starting to see it. When you're expanding, you're starting to realize that, wait a minute, I don't really know much. And in that expansion means you're rising your, your vibrations to a higher frequency. I'm coming to this other level. Here all this destruction is happening and I'm rising my vibrations to a higher frequency. The destruction is still there. Killing the animals, destroying the forest, uh, polluting the water, polluting the air, all these things are here. But now I am above it. So from here, I can see what's going on there, but I'm not touched. All of a sudden, where I am, the air is clean, the water is clean, nothing is happening, no one's dying, no one's getting killed. Because I shifted, I went into this other frequency. I changed channel. In the new frequency that I've arrived, there is harmony within me. I'm not being triggered by these things. I start to see there is order in life. I start to see that this intelligence knows absolutely what it's doing. I start to lose my judgment about it. And I'm starting to accept it and surrender to it. And now I find myself really happy because I'm not in a battle. I'm not fighting it anymore. There's an internal peace taken and there is a sense of freedom. I'm starting to feel free. And that's what happens when you begin to rise your vibrations to a higher frequency. You're not fighting life. You're not trying to change life. You're accepting life. Doesn't matter what is going on. You're surrendering to what is. You're accepting of what is. And acceptance naturally begin to take place. And in that acceptance, harmony comes. Happiness comes. Does this make any sense to anybody? Are you here with me? Yeah, is everyone hearing what I say? Or you're hypnotized? You're not hypnotized? You're not sleeping? Okay, good. Hi, brother. Hi. A question for you, uh, please. Uh, turn this up. Sorry, Susan. Um, I understand absolutely what you're saying. I uh, experience quite a lot of what you're saying, but I dip in and out of both worlds. You know, I lower to the lower frequency and lament all the goings on uh, in the country, et cetera, et cetera. Or, and then I can absolutely uh, raise my vibration to what you are explaining. So I presume it's a process, it's a journey to get to being able to remain in that higher state and, um, you know, see from and understand and remain in that perception. It's kind of easy to be dragged down on occasion, depending on who you're with or what's going on or 
you know, it's where the rubber meets the road, as it were. So what would you say to that? Uh, I'm sorry, what, what is your question? Oh, my question is, um, it seems to be a process to get to a stage where one can remain in that higher vibration all the time. Right, right. Yeah, it, it appears to be a process. That's correct. It appears to be a process. So, and in this process, naturally you go back and forth, you know? And so you, you go from this expansion mm -hmm. into contraction. Yes. You expand, especially when you're in a spiritual setting yes. or for me, I can only speak of myself. I, I, I don't know what other people's experiences are because, but for me, when I was with my sat guru, with my teacher and uh, there was expansion. I was amazing. I felt one with God. It was beautiful. And then the moment I left the satsang house where we were sitting with Papaji, the mind would come and would drive me crazy. And everybody w was annoying me. So it, it looked like a constant contraction and expansion. So was he, in that instant, was he holding the energy for all his group? Yeah, of course he was. But that, was, that had nothing to do with him. It wasn't him. It was my lack of understanding. Okay. Because I thought that coming to this place and e experiencing this is going to have to affect the other world. So when I leave the satsang house, the other world must be in harmony with me. So that was my perception. Mm -hmm. But the other world was as hostile or chaotic as it was before. Yeah, I understand. Now, yeah. So now I'm leaving the satsang and I'm expecting it to change. Hmm. I'm projecting that now I'm kind of experiencing some kind of peace. Everything else has to be that way. But what I later on, years after I realized that when I really discovered the true peace within myself, I realized it has nothing to do with the world outside of myself or people around me. They can do whatever they do, which the world, all kinds of things are happening in the world all the time. Mm 